I'm David Cano with MMA Now TV, and right now we're joined with the one and only Eddie Alvarez. Eddie, how are you feeling? Excellent, man. Glad to be here. You have a big fight coming up tonight against Ahafi Dos Anos. If you do this, I mean, I've watched you at Bellator against Chandler a few years back. Can you imagine that this could actually happen to you? 100%, man. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, I've seen it. I felt it. I've imagined it in my head, and now it's here. And... Um, we're going to get the job done. It's not, it's not going to be an if. When, when we get the title, then we'll be able to tell everyone I told you so. Now, at the weigh-ins, it was actually a pro Eddie Alvarez crowd. I, I tweeted about it. Um, and and Hoffield Osana's got some booze. Were you surprised by that? Uh, no, I mean, he's a Brazilian, of course. So um, he's uh, from, from another country originally. So we're here in America. That's how it should always go. Um, I don't understand sometimes the American crowds boo uh cheering for the, the foreign guys. You know, it should always be like that. Well, sometimes they, they call Vegas the second Rio because sometimes the Brazilians will usually get the louder applause than the American. I didn't know that, but uh, we have a lot of Philly people here too. So, I mean, uh, and even if you group together 10 or 20 Philly people, they sound about, about a couple hundred. So. But now, what is it about Philadelphia and the culture? I mean, it, it's a huge boxing culture. Uh, Malik Scott is a heavyweight out of there, another top 10 heavyweight as well. But what is it about Philly and the fight culture? They're just passionate people, whether it's fighting, sports, no matter what. They're passionate. They're winners. They want to win. Um, they want to compete. And um, they want to seek truth. And uh, that's what we do tonight. We seek truth. We find out who the best is. And um, I'm excited. Now you've been the underdog the past few fights, Pettis, Edson Barbosa. Against all odds, it kind of seems that you've been able to come. And, and is it... Your self-belief or is it training? What, what do you attribute the, the winning trick to? I think just years of, of fighting, you know, years of training, training in different camps, training all, fighting around the world. I just know what I'm capable of. I know this is, this is a sport where if you compete at the highest level, not much separates each guy. It's about being focused that night and, um, and getting after it. Last two questions. Obviously, the big news broke last night with John Jones. What are your initial thoughts on it? It's unprofessional. I don't. I don't know. I, you know, there's no for me. There's no excuse for for drugs to be in this sport. Zero. There's, this is not a sport. This is mixed martial arts. It's about honor. It's about integrity. It's about seeking truth. When you start adding drugs and and, and enhancements involved, it just kind of spoils all that. And this is probably the, the most important question. What are you gonna do after your fight tonight? Ah. Uh, I, I finally get to spend some time with my wife. My wife's here came down. Uh, my friends, my family, everybody, we're probably just going to chill out, man. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long, uh, hard four months, so just relax. That right there is Eddie Alvarez fighting for the UFC lightweight title tonight against Rafael Dos Anjos, which is going to be free, Fox Sports 1. Make sure you check it out.